I need to take a look at another map. It's off Whispering. And also Worm Beast. I don't know if there's anything worth it over here. Let's take a look. Probably not. That's what to say. How could anything be back here? Okay, I'm trying to remember what was in these sections. There's tool storage. Yeah, that was the area with... Ah, I guess I'll go back to shaft 12. Make a right turn. It's kind of interesting that the, the area close to the surface is the only area with dogs, though. Like in Black Death, apparently none of the dogs here... Really survived up in the laboratory level. I can't see how I can get back through. Oh, this is the beginning. I see. So in other news, apparently Amnesia Rebirth released custom stories and supposedly mod support of some sort. Not entirely sure exactly how that's going to play out, but I must admit my curiosity is piqued. And um, I assume they have a map editor, right? Hopefully. I mean, I would say that Amnesia The Dark Descent has better gameplay at the base. Than Rebirth does, but I mean, if they let you adjust the variables like your matches run out this fast and that slow, and you can carry this many on you at once, then maybe you can get something decent out of it. I just hope there's a way that you can like enable the more classic insanity effects, or maybe someone will mod that into the game later. See, what I think would be great is if they gave you the ability. To like play amnesia like it's normal like normal insanity effects but also uh the new one just for preferences sake i don't know it seems like you're starting to get used to it philip that's what you keep saying Alright. Now, how do I use it? Ah, uh, with the UV light, there's some text showing up on that blank piece of paper. Uh, 1371. Okay. That takes care of that issue. So we can probably wrap up this entire section before I call it for the night. Because admittingly, like, as far as, like, custom stories goes, the community has been amazing with it. They even did, like, a, a Penumbra fan mod thing in Amnesia the Dark Descent, like, added similar gameplay mechanics. What is this? The door's been forged shut and it will never open again. How the fuck do you know that? I bet we're gonna go through there. I bet we actually will. Maybe the dogs were here for experimentation? Okay, section C. Okay, so I can just make a right turn and I'm good. <clears throat> and just to be safe. Three. Yes. I used to watch Peter Pie play the Amnesia Custom Stories a lot back in the day. And, um, admittingly, like, it, it's kind of this... What 
this is a totally different area, actually. I thought this was going to be a lot more linear. Not an entirely different area. So I'm in section B. Let's try going to Lake Utah. Or Utah. Yeah, probably not. But Red promises feasting only began when the men became pungent. When the stench of life had gone, and only the sweet aroma of decay remained. <laughs> this is probably fucked up to say, but I'm actually sort of kind of curious what human meat what human meat tastes like. Booty, please. Now that's the true horror. Probably go here without him noticing me. Actually, I don't know. You might see me right there. Some kind of reservoir. And yeah, you can slap these to get them to explode, but oh, they don't actually don't insta-kill enemies, I'm pretty sure. Not on this difficulty. Son of a bitch. That is so dumb. Yeah, nothing else over here, but another death trap. And visually, this is one of my favorite areas in the entire game. Just to me, this screams Lovecraftian. Because you look at it and you're like, what the fuck is that? It's pretty hard, to You gotta be super careful around this area. And yay! First area in a while where I don't have to walk around with a fucking glow stick all, all the time. When I use these now, I feel as though I'm not the only one. I'm getting crowded in there. Like, I'm just one visitor at many. Strange thing is, they all seem familiar. I'm curious if that's supposed to be like a fourth wall breaking thing. This is a shitty shed. It's probably super old. Yeah, when I look at this, I think of the thing from another world. I don't know about you guys. And uh, you can kind of see it. Well, maybe not here. Oh, wait, this might be it. Yeah, you can kind of see the line, the, the border line here. Looks solid, but not much as it seems down there. Don't catch me trekking across that. But yeah, you can just slap it like this. You can kind of jump on it, but... Yeah, I guess those fish are frozen alive. Okay, let's see if I can jump on this for very long. Okay, yeah, yeah. We don't want to be on there too long, and that, that plank is actually really not helping us. I feel like I was trying to say something, I fucking forgot again. Because I got distracted by this amazing sight. Any other time that sight would be stunning right now, it makes me shiver. Yeah! See, when I look at that, that almost looks... I remember thinking this was like part of a UFO for so long as a kid. Look, look at this axe freak out, what the fuck is that? Okay. Yeah, it looks so alien up there. <sighs> yeah, I'm kind of curious. Like, maybe you die instantly if you don't slap him away. You just... 
Okay, that's what happens. You get too close. And they just crack like that. Okay, let's try to jump from here. And there. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember what I was going to say. I was going to say it would be very terrifying if there was like some kind of monster down here. That's part of the reason why this area used to scare me so much. Okay, apparently not heavy enough. Huh, isn't there supposed to be... Maybe the hand is... Oh, okay, there's the hand. And I think the longer you stand on those, the, the faster they'll start sinking. Okay, I'm moving this back here. Fuck that. I'm kind of curious. What happens if you throw it... ...into the water? Yeah, that is terrifying. That really makes me think of cryostasis. Get tons of enemies like that. That are just frozen solid. What a way to go. I don't think you can actually see it, can you? Before before we fuck with this. Oh shit. <laughs> and that that's the danger of fucking around too much here. That cracked. But yeah, I was trying to get a shot. Yeah, it looks like there's no body under there. Yeah, you just use a saw. I'm no expert in saw technology, but I remember seeing this and being really surprised by the fact that it had the power to cut through pure ice like that. Goodbye, hand. How? Maybe this looks like it'll crack, though. No. Apparently not. Oh, there's an invisible wall, though. It's kind of preventing me from going around that. Eh, son of a bitch. Okay. This is still pretty tense, though. Now, let's see if I can remember... Where do I go from here? I guess I'll... I guess I don't really need that board, probably. It's gonna sink anyway, right? Like, who gives a fuck? <sighs> Maybe there could be, like, an amnesia water monster down here. Now that would be fucked up. You could just see it, like, crushing through the ice or something. Like a massive whale or some kind of squid beast hiding under here. Not too many games focus on the horror of the ocean, and I really wish more did. I feel like it could be very, very effective. The only game I can think of that really does anything like that is, uh, Selma. And even then, like, Selma is mostly more so about, like, creepy androids. It doesn't really go into the whole ocean horror until, like, near the end, when you go into the abyss. Which is one of my favorite parts of the entire game. That part is so fucking good. It just screams classic horror. Yeah, so I came from there. So I guess we can go to chemical storage next, and it should be a straight line. So, right turn, then I go for my first right, another right, then a left, I just keep going in that direction. This fucking dog will piss off. Yes, that is a good dog. Very, very good dog. It doesn't look like you can distract them with flares either, so I really don't know what the fucking point is of this uh, flare mechanic. I guess it really is just alternative light. You know, just to be sure. Yeah, make first right, then a left. 
But then again, there's probably a dog like right there, so I might not. be able to do it. where I came in, so I'll, it should just be a straight shot. Yeah, straight shot and then make a left and go for the first doorway. How much more meat do I got? dog. Yeah, so far so good. It's locked from the other side. God damn it. Okay. <clears throat> so in that case, I'll just go straight, and then left or right turn. Doesn't really matter. Where am I now? Okay, I can still salvage this. Coming over here. over here. Okay, surely that will distract them enough, right? Looks like it's doing the trick. Taking the bait. Haha, <laughs> stupid son of a bitch. Mm, that's very interesting. Oh no! It's another worm segment. I guess it's fine. Let's, let's do this! Let's do this shit. You know it's fucked when you hear that. You see that checkpoint aura thing. Like that. Oh, we don't even get to see it yet. This is a little bit reminiscent of the, the water monster segment. Okay, cool, I made it. Now I gotta hurry the fuck up. X, please. I guess I could theoretically use the barrel, but this feels faster. Come on, box, go, go, fuck. Oh my god. I fucking jumped at the wrong time. I gotta steal that door. Hell yeah, you do. Actually, let me see. I don't even think I need to waste time here now. So note to self, you don't even need to use the, the chests there. Or boxes, whatever the fuck they are. Now this part, on the other hand, is a little bit more dangerous. I can't really push these either. Which is quite annoying. We did it! 
Oh no, please break for the love of Christ. Uh, there we go. <laughs> that was a lot closer than I thought it would be. My brain can barely imagine the feats of action men like heroic she must be performing to save all the rain. I am waiting so close now for you to blow down the walls of my earthbound business cell and release me. That's nice and fast. Keep it in your pants, Vakto. I'm coming. Yeah, this feels so much more awkward than it does in Amnesia. Like, it doesn't... Like, even though I'm doing the same motion with my mouse, it won't... maintain the input as reliably. It's really weird. Yeah, so, like, normally what fucks you up is you assume you're supposed to turn the wheel while you're doing that. But, I mean, this doesn't close. So I remember being stuck at that chase sequence for a while back in the day, not realizing you were supposed to break that wooden plank. Badly administered dopamine clouds frequently everything. So I need six chemicals. And I believe they're hidden all over this fucking room. How many do I got? None. Oh yeah, we're gonna be making like a bomb with this. It's two. Oh yes, beef and jerky, the most important of chemicals. It's three. <coughs> From what I remember, one of them is like a massive pain in the ass to find, but they all should be in this room. Ooh, that one was... I didn't even notice it. Two, three, four, five, so I just gotta find one more and we're good. Alright, cool. These things look like lanterns. There, it's me. I'm inside that box and outside it. I don't. I, I can't get things straight in my head. But now that that's all taken care of, I oh, can't move that. Yeah, this is the shortcut that takes us back over here. Oh wait, actually, I probably don't even have to take rig, do I? Because the fact that we're collecting these already, that means the game's pretty much over. This game is short as fuck. The incinerator, I believe that's where Red is. Narratively, it would make sense. I wanna... I kinda wanna see what's at section B, though. It's probably just a shortcut to the, air, the other area, though. Incinerator. Yeah, this must be a shortcut. The door has been forged shut. What What does that even mean? It's forged shut? Like, you can't possibly move it? Did someone meld it into the fucking wall? Alright, goodbye, dogs. It was nice knowing you. But I don't think I will be seeing you guys ever again. Crowbar. Man, Red really didn't want to get caught here. He even made sure the door was locked. That way the fucking dogs can't open it. I wait and wait, and yet the pot never boils. I remain trapped in my den of iniquity. Perhaps the gods have toyed with me once more. Send this me to yet a more near in the place of eternal nightlife. But now, maybe my ill advice is ended you. Damn, we're gonna get to the sad part. Please don't be poor and I'm alone once more. Like all the others. I won't, I won't. I'm not gonna pussy out. We're friends till the end, Red. And this is the last little puzzle we gotta do. Uh, this room should serve me well as a potion mixer with explosive books being my guide and fuse. Might as well take more painkillers. That, that's exactly what you need. Remember, kids, when you're mixing suspicious chemicals, 
Make sure you're on painkillers. It focuses you. It's like there's a carbon copy of me inside the artifact. But that's an interesting way to spell that. Except there's more than one, and they're not very good copies. Yeah, those are the newbie Phillips that are bad at playing the game. The last container. Okay. Now I have to make sure I do this right, or else it may or may not blow up in my fucking face. Okay, notes. Explosives book. So, okay, I'm making... Which one am I making? TNT? Dynamite? Okay, what was that other thing I got? Chemist notes? Magnesium, calcium? Let's check this. Yeah, it doesn't really tell me much. So this is the one we made at the beginning of the game. Dynamite. Three parts nitrogen and carbonite. death mix. It's incredible volatility makes it unsuitable. So this might be what we need. So red phosphorus and barium. There's a big emphasis on being slow and methodical. Okay, phosphorus and barium. So number five is phosphorus. So maybe P and B. Right, I'll need a gas supply before I can light the... Oh. There we go. I mean, I've, been, I've been letting gas burn the whole time. I'm mixing this with... What could be phosphorus, barium? These aren't numbered, are they? That just is. Wait a minute, I might have fucked this up already. So three is bar. So like maybe it's listed like A, B, C, D, and E, as in like. Number one, number two, number three, number four. So I might have wanted to put C for barium, since it would be the third chemical. I assume B is for barium, but then I can't really do anything with the, the phosphorus, because there's no P icon. So number five. Okay, A, one, two, three, four. A, B, C, D, E. Okay, let's try E and C. No? I'm really surprised it's not fucking killing me, actually. D, F. Okay. There we go. Okay, so D and F is the, the combination. Ah, shit. I gotta open that. <laughs> that was closer than I thought it would be. Okay, so apparently you can just herp derp your way and fucking brute force that without actually understanding what to do. 
And yeah, I don't want to, I don't think I want to turn too fast. I don't want to jump around too much or anything. And somehow I'm able to hold this with one hand. Oh. What I recall, this is actually pretty sensitive, so I don't want to fuck around too much. I don't even know if I can get away with running with this. But man, that makes for a very striking image. That's some Silent Hill 5 shit. <sighs> and I guess I'll just throw it. Or maybe I'm supposed to light it or something. I'll try set it. <laughs> okay, that didn't quite work. I don't know why that jump in particular fucked me over. Maybe I needed to give this mixture time to relax. Alright. It looks like I can get away with dropping. Except I gotta get up here. What the fuck? How far close to the edge can I get? Maybe crouching makes it more relaxed. Okay. Apparently that doesn't work. I'm gonna try just... Oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what the fuse is for. I'm fucking done. <gasps> I'm trying to figure out... I'm, uh, I'm limit testing, guys. That's what's happening. I'm limit testing. I'm trying to figure out exactly how much I can get away with rushing this. It looks like, uh, it's appropriately very unforgiving. This thing is probably fucking nuclear. Although I thought it made sense to just throw it. Keep going. Dude, that was like a baby explosion. Come on now. I'm here to save you, Red, quote unquote. I don't know if my heart is ready for this, guys. This part is fucked up. The door is different than all the others. This must be where Red's been leading me all this time. What, you mean like a crowbar? It's hydraulically sealed, it won't just pry open maybe if I could cut the power. Thank you. My character still doesn't necessarily know if this is connected to my father. Like, this could just be a random fucking thing that has nothing to do with that, for all I know. The sad thing is, he's actually correct to, like, keep you out of there. We should have followed his advice. 
Yeah, I would imagine. And I could walk away, but I can't actually beat the game until I do this. So like, there's no alternate ending here. You have no choice but to kill him if you want to beat the game. It's pretty fucked up. And, oh, I just noticed it's got like a little Christian cross thing. What is that lighting on it? I don't know. Why would Red want me to kill him? Why like this? What can I do? Vicious looking things almost like meat hooks. So like... I guess he couldn't kill himself with medication, right? So like I imagine what happens is the... Alien consciousness or whatever that's infested his head... Like make him hallucinate wildly... If he tries to kill himself. I wonder... If it also has a New York accent, wouldn't that be interesting? It'll make it very clear, like, what exactly happens when you get infected. And yeah, I don't think there's any way to see this. There's probably not actually... ...anything in there, even if you glitched your way through. I'd be very surprised otherwise. Alright, let's do this. And considering how isolated this game has been, like, having to kill the one person that's our friend and our only human to talk to is pretty fucked. You never actually meet anyone in alive face-to-face -face at all in Penumbra. And we don't even know what's going down, so we don't even know what he means when he says... You gotta kill me. And I remember, when I was in high school, I would actually cry at this part. Ashes, all that remains of my only friend down here. The key Red was guarding for me. Was he trying to keep something hidden, or was he really trying to protect me? Well, probably a little bit of both. Yeah, I was curious if we could do anything there, I guess not. Booty, please. And, and it's funny, like, comparing this to Amnesia Rebirth, like, even though Rebirth tries way harder to assault you with the storyline, like, this game, in its simplistic map, just its simplistic nature, is way more effective in getting you emotionally invested in what's going on. Poor Red, I'm so sorry, you're at peace now. Let me die, please. Death, nobody to talk to. But why can't he, can't he just, like, starve himself to death? It wouldn't be pleasant, but it wouldn't be any more pleasant than fucking setting yourself on fire. But yeah, here we can see the radio he was using to talk to us. See, the thing is, we don't actually have a way out of here, so we kind of have no choice but to fucking go in there. How are you? I am as well as can be expected. I have sad news. A few days ago, there was some kind of collapse. And some of the ceiling of the cave fell in on me. Oh man, this is music. What scares me is that I was in an off-limits part of the mine. <clears throat> may not look for me. But if they do, if they find me, I'll be in so much trouble. I've been working in the mine for about three weeks now, and I'm pretty proud that I can send money home. It's pretty tough work, and so far, you're the only person that's really been nice to me. Plus, I have some nice company down here. There's some friendly, kind of creepy crawlies, and some books I brought from home that I was taking to the rec room. If you think about it, it was really quite lucky I had all this stuff with me. Otherwise, I'd be bored stiff. I suppose I might be trapped here long enough that I have to read them twice. I always used to ask my mom how long people survive without food and things. I read how some people 
can survive underwater for over five minutes. Some last in the desert for weeks. But she always said you had three minutes of air, three days of water, etc. I suppose I'll find out soon enough. I guess if I had to, I could find food around the place. Like I said, there are all sorts of creatures here. But they're better off as my friends than my lunch. I wonder whether I shall starve to death or go crazy first. Neither sounds too much fun, I guess. But if I had to choose, I'd say I want to go mad. It sounds like an adventure. Tom Redwood. Proper mine worker, December 1970. Age 14. Yeah, he's, he's like way into his 30s at this point. Maybe even 40s. I don't even get how you survived down here for that long. That's fucking crazy. Was he like putting off the virus the entire time? And like maybe could have like... I mean, I guess it would be pointless because odds are no one would read it, but... Red. Maybe that's where he got the inspiration for his nickname. You know, besides Redwood. Look at this gross-ass fucking bed. It's got piss on it. Well, uh, maybe. Ugh. Leaving out how Red managed to catch and kill this thing, it's quite clearly inedible. Poor guy must have been close to starving to death. You know, maybe because he was desperate to eat, maybe this is how he got infected. He, like, ate an infected dog. Jesus, from the center, I think this must have been his toilet. It's impressive that he managed to dig that. Beauty parade. Why are you putting an eye on that, Red? That's kind of weird. Because that's just what happens when you get that bored. <sighs> Come on, I want to throw something down there. Oh well. No wonder he was getting hungry with a final meal ration slugs. Perhaps he enjoyed them. Yeah, let's get the flare out, why not? Can I break this? Oh wait. Screwdrivers, of course. I'm so used to slapping my way for the win. Electrics may be running out to the door. But he did get this far. How many hours did he spend with his neck on this noose just trying to end it all? Because I can't imagine they like literally make it impossible for him to die. Like if he really tried. I'm pretty sure the turn gates still need to eat. And who knows how mutated he looks. Like the fan art and stuff. Assumes he's like this bearded man, but for all we know, he probably looked very much so like the monsters that we're gonna be running into later. The chains on his arms are visible now. Not there, out of choice, father looks on, aghast. He clutches some notes, shaking hands. He knows, he knows what has come, what the man has released. The only one who could stop it, Howard, knows the real fear. Maybe Howard was working on a cure? If I never see another one of these things, I don't know. I don't like them, but at the same time, I don't know why... I know that I'm leaving a part of myself behind each time I go near them. Can I just leave it here? I'm sure you'll run into plenty more, Philip. And yeah, talk about build-up. Okay, and now we've been able to use that. As I stepped into the mouth of the underground facility, there should have been questions, fears, doubts running through me. Instead, I was torn in two. Part of me, I felt, had died, along with my only ally and friend. His final words had raised more questions than they'd answered. I couldn't get his screams for help out of my head, despite knowing deep down that it was all the help I could offer him. I was alone again, but I had nothing to do other than press on into the unknown. If I'd felt so bad about Red, I should have listened to him and stayed where I was. I would trade his fate a hundred times for my own. The other side of me was looking forward to what might await me in my continued journey. I felt sure that I would soon find some clue or other to my father's fate, and that he was inexcrutably linked to everything that was happening. 
I guess we did find his name, Howard, right? In the notes. That's our hint that he's probably down here. I also couldn't help but suspect that everything I had seen up until now was just symptomatic of whatever lay beyond the threshold. I know now I was right. Damn, the mechanism shot. No turning back. Hell no. Welcome to the, shel the shelter, 1973. It's weird they have a caste system down here. So do we see... Yeah, there's my father. Howard Lafresque. I guess I'm Philip Lafresque. Please have your documents ready. How convenient that happens to be there for me. And yeah. Oh shit. Does this look familiar to you guys? Remember the demo for Penumbra? I don't even know if that's necessarily the model of a... Oh shit. Our flashlight just happens to not feel like working. The door's locked and slammed shut behind me. I can't break through that. I guess I couldn't reach it anyway, right? <clears throat> oh, made me panic. It's locked. Just to show that off, let's do that one time. Can't break through here. Although it would be hilarious if I could. With that, the man who had first ascended into the mine was no more, and so began my next chapter. Yeah, talk about building. What a great cliffhanger. I still love that. To be continued. And that legendary, just ominous soundtrack in the background. Just to leave you with that uncomfortable feeling. That That's exactly how a horror game should end. No bullshit, happy ending. Frictional games. Yeah, it sounds more like the demo. With the, the menu music. So in conclusion, a uh, number Overture, great game. I'm sure I'm gonna appreciate Black Plague more, because it has more of a story going on. From what I remember. Um, game is way easier than I remember it being. But yeah, like, it, it's one of my favorite horror games, regardless. It's up there being one of the best personal games titles, in my mind. And that's... that's it for Penumbra Overture. I'll probably end up playing Black Plague soon. Especially since these games are super short anyway. And this is the one that's supposed to have the harder puzzles, so... Black Plague should be pretty easy. So yeah, look forward to that. And good night, guys. So, what's the